Hey baddies, welcome to another Auntie Amy's Trashy Tarot. Today I'm doing another pick a card reading. This one's going to be all about who is afraid of you and why. So grab your snacks and your comfy blanket and join me for this really insightful and fun reading. I'm going to be getting some details for you guys because I will be pulling initials and charms today and I will be pulling as I go. All right, so now keep in mind your auntie, me, I, Auntie Amy, will be highly medicated in this video due to my autoimmune disease. I use the green stuff, and sometimes it makes me uh, slur my words or act a bit awkward. All right, so that's what's going on um, if, you, if you're wondering. All right, um, as you see before you, there are three cards. These are going to be your psychic linking objects. Now, I will insert a little video for those of you guys who need a bit more time to see which group you're drawn to. Now, if you are drawn to more than one group, there's probably going to be more than one message for you. And with that said, I'll see you beautiful, magical baddies on the other side. Bye guys. Hey group one, all of you that selected American Psycho, this is going to be your reading all about who is afraid of you and why. All right, so keep in mind this is a general reading, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Now be sure to stay tuned to the end because I'm going to get letters, initials, and charms. So we should get some additional information on who is afraid of you. Okay, so let's find out. Who is afraid of my group one? Let's get into the details. What, what is this all about for my group one? We have American Psycho. So the movie is awesome. Um, I think the book is pretty awesome. I think it's based on a book. My memory serves me well. Perhaps it doesn't. <laughs> we have Hermit. Okay. Withdraws from society out of fear or negative judgment of others. Refusing to help those in need. I'm reading the negative on that. Tell me more about this situation. We have Artist. Using talent as an excuse to mistreat others. Posing as a starving artist to elicit pity. Oh, is this a pity pat? <laughs> is this someone who, who uh, wants pity? They want pity for your cruelty. Ooh, they're afraid of your cruelty. They're afraid of your coldness. And we have networker. Conveys information only for personal gain. Spreads fear and falsehood. Okay. I feel like this person fears you because you're whole all by yourself. You don't really depend on other people. Um, and I feel like uh, this person also could be afraid of the things you might say. Um, like your words are powerful here. There may be some kind of hidden truth in this situation that they fear may come out um, as well. You know, um, Patrick, I think his name is Patrick. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but in American Psycho, you know, he was psychotic, literally. And so he was faking being like a regular human being, like the Huey Lewis in the News uh, little, little spiel he went into. Um, he kind of faked being a regular person. He mimicked people. Um, and I feel like this person... Um, has a little bit of that soullessness to them. Um, so there could be some really, um, for some of you guys, there's some big, and I don't want to use the term juicy because that sounds like what happened here was juicy, and it's not. It's terrible for some of you guys. It's just, it's just like this truth would undo them. 
We have sexy and desire. We have sibling and aunties, uncles. We have witchy and we have non-traditional philosophies. Okay, you may be non-traditional in some way or witchy. They fear your power if you are. Aunts, uncles, and siblings, they're fearing the family or somewhat a tight-knit community finding out the truth. And it has to do with some kind of desire here. Um, yeah, for some of you guys, that that's that feels. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna touch that too much. I'm not gonna tap that too much. Um, but it feels very improper um, as well. Uh, I feel like this person really cares about what the visuals are, what the optics are. I'm hearing what the optics are. They care about what the optics are, and they're afraid that you are gonna fuck up their optics. And I hear, uh huh. Yeah, that's the plan. Um, and I, I feel like you guys may be a little bit on your own or you may have kind of pulled away from family or friends. Um, there's something here about like independent energy. We have get fucked. <laughs> yeah, it, it's almost like in some way perhaps there's, a sense of rejection here or um, like you kind of had to turn your back on family or friends or had to pull away so you could get clarity or perhaps get counseling or like go through some shadow work or you know take care of yourself in some kind of way um, and it's given you some strength to kind of stand on your own we have fashion witch again witchy energy and we have triggered um, and I feel like through some kind of healing here um, you're appearing so much stronger to this person. Uh, and it could be that they see you casually. Um, I'm checking my mic here. They, they see you casually or they hear about what's going on with you. Um, and they're scared. They're scared of you. They're scared of the shit that may come out. And for some of you, this is family. For some of you, this is a friend group. Um, or some kind of situation like that. It, it's going to vary. Um, but I feel like they're afraid that a couple of things here. First of all, I feel like they're afraid like you're going to lose it and let every, and just like let everyone know what happened. Um, they're afraid of your anger. Um, they're afraid of revenge here as well. Tell me more. Tell me more. Um, they're afraid of the truth. There's two cards here that want to come out. We have temperance here. Uh, let me check it. We have the queen of swords. See that mask? That mask you had on came the fuck off. I think you had to get real about who you are and who you wanted to be. And I think these changes have really triggered this person. And they are scared of you. They are scared of what you're going to say. They're scared of what you're going to do. They're scared of how powerful you have become walking into your own power. Um, and I feel like this person is very fake with the American Psycho card. This person is very fake. And the truth of them is very brutal okay they're not what they pretend to be and I feel like in order for you to see the truth you kind of had to to remove your own mask of what you thought they were I feel like this was really painful okay really super painful uh, tell me more about the situation tell me more tell me more about the situation I feel a level of disappointment here I'm gonna get three of these cards there is a level of disappointment. And then we have the colorless angel. So I, I feel like, you know, you probably went through some depression or are going through some depression. And um, I feel like you're very powerful, but there's like loss here in this situation. Um, and it could be loss of illusions, illusions of how this relationship was or this person was it can be very devastating especially if this person was close to you and I feel like they were okay um, 
we have revenge. There's a revenge card. They are afraid that you're going to try to get revenge on them. And we have the temple of my body. Oh, wow. There's that energy. I don't really want to tap it. But with fashion witch, um, I, I'm in witchy here. I feel like you have done a lot of healing and connection like to your vessel, to your sacredness of your vessel, uh, to your personality, to your sense of self, to your self-esteem. And this person fears that. Oops, sorry, I knocked you guys a bit. <laughs> I knocked you guys around. I feel like, um, I think for a lot of you, this is like this person's greatest fear, one of them, that you would wake up and you would heal yourself and become powerful and you would see the truth and you would be whole all by yourself and you would be able to see the truth of them. We have the Page of Cups. This feels so manipulative, like someone was so manipulative to you. We have the Seven of Cups here. Lots of malignant cups. That's what I'm feeling. Lots of emotional manipulation. I feel this card wants to come out. The Hermit. We have the Hermit here twice. You know, I feel like you've been on the path, the path to, the path that goes within, the path of inner knowledge, inner wisdom. Uh, some of you guys may have gone to counseling. You may be a counselor. Um, I think you've had to learn a lot of big lessons and let go of these masks of illusion of other people. It's made you very powerful and it's been very painful. Like this energy, right? And this person fears you because of this energy. They're afraid that you are going to seek revenge. What they see as revenge and what you may see as truth, speaking your truth um, against someone who has really fucked you over. And I, like I said, I don't want to touch that too much because I feel like for some of you guys, it's very tender. It's still very tender. We have death here. It's still very tender. Like, yeah, death is about transformation, but it's also about death, okay? It's about ending. It's about the cold, brutal reality of something ending. And it can be painful. And I'm feeling a lot of pain with group one. Um, the reality of seeing the world. And you know, when Patrick sees the world, for the, what it is, himself for what he is, it is ugly and scary. Um, and I do feel like there is an energy here for some of you guys that this person feels like they're going to lose it if you tell people the truth. Like people can't know. People can't know about me. People can't know about what I did. Like people can never know. You know, it feels extremely toxic and malignant. It's like a malignant social cancer, if you will. Okay? Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. This one. We have the two of wands. And he has the world here. And it's kind of like over the heart chakra. And I feel like at one time, this person, I'm reading this intuitively, um, one per, one, at one time, this person kind of held your world in their hands, held your emotional state in, in their hands. They felt like this is someone who has taken advantage of you. They have uh, really used your emotions and your mental space, like your mental health or the place where our mental, our thoughts and our emotions meet, okay, have used that against you. Um, for some of you, you've had people try to tell you that there's something going on here and you didn't listen. Um, and this person just shut them down. It was like, oh, you know, they're, that's full, they're full of shit. It isn't real. And then we have the Six of Pentacles here. I feel like you have moved on to very healing waters. That's what I'm, he I'm hearing. Like, 
an area, a place, a state in your life where you could truly heal. And I feel like you really did have to kind of like cut off connections with this, pe this person or these people to a degree. And I feel like the universe has really validated that journey and it's made you so strong. And I feel like they fear, this feels almost like death. It feels like death is giving. Death is giving to you. Death is giving you energy. It's giving you the fuel for change. It's giving you the, full, the fuel for fire, for transformation. And for some of you, the transformation involves revenge. Not exactly like revenge, but telling your truth. See, here's the thing. Many of us are heroes in our own journey, but we're villains in someone else's because what is us telling our truth looks like revenge to them, okay? But it's actually not revenge. It's us speaking our truth. Of course they feel it's revenge. Of course they feel it's you getting back at them because they're not healed. They haven't gone through the things you've gone through. So they fear you because they know they're wrong. We have the three of cups. They know they're wrong. I feel like this is judge, jury, executioner. They know that when the others find out about what they've done, and they're so fearful of this, whether you, you intend on doing this or not, this is what they fear of you. And the more healed you get, the more whole you get, the more they will fear this of you. And it, it's not something that's going to go away. Because this person has a guilty conscience, consciousness, conscious. <laughs> this person feels bad because they know, some of you guys, they feel bad, okay, on some level, even though they're heartless, okay? Uh, because I feel like some of you ha guys have suffered some issues about your vessel or your, your, your face or the way you interact with people. Um, I feel like some of you guys have had some health problems. I feel like some of you guys have had some mental issues. Some of you guys have been really unhappy and you haven't been able to find happiness. And on some level, this, you know, they feel like they know that on some level they have something to do with that. And in the deep, dark crevices of their mind, in the closets of their shame, they think about that and it drives them to do more toxic behaviors, more destructive behaviors. Okay, so I don't feel like this fear is going to go away. I feel like this fear of you is going to grow. And perhaps that is the best revenge, if you will. Perhaps that is the best justice, is that this person doesn't find peace. They don't really find peace until they deal with their shit, right? Um, and meantime, you're dealing with the consequences of their actions for many of you. And I feel like you're moving into a stronger and stronger place. So it's almost like seeing you heal is forcing them to deal with their own shit. They can no longer deny, live in denial. They can no longer walk around it. Their lies are falling apart one by one like it's as if people see you standing in your truth doing your thing whatever that is and more and more of this person is revealed many of you guys don't you don't have to do nothing but do what you do and this person's life is just going to unravel and they're going to think oh they're taking revenge on me no bitch no one's taking revenge on you. This is how it works. This is karma, the universe, whatever you want to call it. It's how it works when you're a nasty, horrible person and you do nasty, horrible things to people under the guise of love and affection. When you twist people to the point where they hate themselves and they can't function, this is what happens. Because there must be balance. There must be balance. And I feel like the scales are balancing for you. And this person, they don't fucking like it. They don't like it at all. Let's get you guys some letters, initials, and some charms. 
Okay, group one, these are going to be your letters, your initials, and your charms. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. These could be your initials, their initials, a meaningful word, a screen name, initials. Just take what resonates. We have A, J, Z, X, N, K, U, E, D, U, D, Y, K, M, O, Z. All right, we have the money coin. No, that's not money. That's Aquarius. Okay, we may be dealing with an Aquarius or an air sign. Libra, Gemini. We have the witch charm. Again, witchy energy. You may be a witch. They may feel like you're casting spells on them too. We have the paw print here. We have a cookie. We have a little, little um, like a malt here. Do people still eat malts? I don't know. We have like, this feels like a, um, a, um, a red jasper. We have... Um, another stone here this feels like a um like a carnelian okay um and we have the ice cream the stuff about ice cream here we have a tower as well we have a house a dream house it's a little castle here um and we have a butterfly okay so we have the death card over here and we have talks of death and I, I want you to know you're not going to be stuck in this uh, death card energy like the transformation is definitely happening for you and I, I feel like um, there may be some issues with like your sacral chakra um, and that has to do with like uh, sexuality and creativity and things like that. So you might find working with your sacral may be very helpful um, as well. I, I feel like some of you guys, um, I, you know, I, I feel like you may be working on what is home, a sense of home, bringing a sense of home to you, especially if this involves family. You may be redefining what family is. Uh, you guys may be finding yourself uh, like more alone in the world and feeling alone and wanting to find people or situations where you feel more at home. Uh, some of you guys may um, have had a tower moment around where you live or you may be experiencing that. If you are, I want you to know that it, it will work out for you. Okay, there's sweetness here. Now, what I'm going to tell you is that if you are a witch and you're experiencing issues around your home or finances, um, I'm getting like direct orders to tell you you need to cast on that, okay? You need to cast on that, okay? If you've casted on it, do it again, okay? Um, and be, be more specific um, and write it out like take time invest your time in writing your spell out okay be more specific with this paw print um i feel like for many of you the tower moment that happened in this situation really left a lasting impression okay and i feel like there is a switching of perspective here for you where you will go from feeling like this impression that was left by this person is painful to a perspective of I am gaining insight from it and I see it healing it's it's a scar now it's not an open wound it's a it's a scar and it it may need to be tended to throughout you know your life to a degree especially if this involves like trusting loved ones and family and things like that and defining what family is to you um, but I feel like you're moving into a time where it's not going to be like a gaping sore wound like it has been and that may be difficult for you and it may that that might be the feeling I'm feeling right now of kind of being in this state of kind of like purgatory where you feel like you're in the death card, you're in the throes of the death card, and the throes have kind of died out, but you haven't quite moved on uh, to where you can see the wisdom or the knowledge that you gained. You feel stronger, you know, you feel some better, but you're just, you haven't kind of turned the corner. And I want you to know the corner's coming, okay? Um, there... The truth of self, looking in the mirror of self, which a lot of this kind of work requires, 
you know, taking the mask off can be very difficult because in many ways you're learning who you really are for the first time. And I want you to give your guy yourself some grace, okay? Give yourself some grace and compassion for what you've been through. I think grace and compassion will help you turn the corner. Um, being more kind to yourself because I feel like you guys haven't had a lot of kindness. I think you've given it. I think you've given benefit of the doubt to people who didn't deserve it. I think you've given a lot of love to people who didn't deserve it. Um, and it's time for you to do that for yourself, okay? I think that energy will really help you turn the corner. It will also help you see how much you've actually gone through. When you start being more compassionate to yourself, yourself, your truth comes forward and shows you powerfully how much you've actually really been through. It's almost like you, you allow yourself to really understand what a hero you are in your own story, okay? And you are. You are a hero, all right? Okay, group one, that's what I received for you. I hope this was a helpful and insightful reading. If it was, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. And if you'd like to see more readings like this one, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you beautiful, magical baddies on the other side. Bye, guys. Hey, group two, all of you that selected Psycho, this is going to be your reading all about who is afraid of you and why. So keep in mind, this is a general reading. So just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Be sure to stay tuned to the end because I'm going to get letters, initials, and charms. And we're going to find out more details about who is afraid of you and why. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Give me a few cards here and tell me who is afraid of my group two. Who is afraid of my group two? Who is afraid of my group two? Okay. Well, we have three cards that popped out, so we're going to take those three. Okay. The first one is slave. <laughs> okay. Giving your willpower to an external authority out of fear of making your own choices. Okay. We have, oh, we have four. Okay. Okay. We have monk, nun, shadow attributes, negative judgment of the physical world, excessive piety. We have shadow attributes of judge, offering only destructive criticism, misuses business, legal or criminal authority. And we have prostitute. Shadow attributes places material considerations and security above self-empowerment. Okay, so I feel like this person um, is very vapid. They're very shallow. Okay, this is someone who's extremely shallow. Um, they judge people's appearances. Uh, they judge people who are different in any way. Um, this is someone who is a, what do you call that? Um, they are, oh God, what is the word I'm looking for? Um, give me, give me, give me, give me. They feel like they're a martyr. They feel like they have done so much for you. They feel like they've done so much for you. Um, and I feel like there may be some falsehood in um, the religion. Like they show, they, they make people think that they're very pious or they're very devoted to the religion. But in truth, they're very... Um, disloyal. They're very vapid. It really is all about power and appearances. Um, and I feel like you have their number in some kind of way. Like you, you're on to them. You're on to their bullshit. Okay. You're on to their, their crap. Um, and I feel like there's this air about them of superiority um, with judge here, like my crown is like opening up big time. Um, and I, I feel like they don't have any nice words to say the queen of cups here. This may be, um, a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, cancer. Um, and I'm, I'm hearing and I'm feeling like, don't, don't come on my block pulling that shit. Like, don't come around kind of trying to tell my people 
shit. Because you already know. There's something about loyalty here. Loyalty. And you know in Psycho, he was loyal to his mama. Right? Fucking became his mama. You know, trigger warning. Uh, not trigger warning, but uh, a plot plot reveal or whatever. <laughs> but um, I feel like the water, this water demon is in, is toxic. Like it's toxic emotions. This person, it's almost like they um, they live in toxic emotions, like toxic water. We have the Queen of Wands here. And we have the Knight of Wands. I feel like that's your energy. The Queen of Wands fears the fire. You may be a fire sign. A Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or you may have that in some kind of important placements in your chart. You could be the water sign too, but just don't make it fit. If that doesn't fit, then it's not for you. Okay, tell me more about this situation. They fear you. They fear something about your, your drive. Tell me more. Tell me more about this. You don't listen. They don't like the way you don't listen. But you got their numbers. I feel like some of you guys have receipts on this person. You have receipts on this person. They're, I hear, I'm hearing a sellout. I hear, I'm hearing sellout. We have simp. Okay. We have tinfoil hat. We have billionaire and influencer, okay? This might have something to do with an online thing or they know about your online presence and they think that you're like a prostitute, okay? Um, <laughs> I feel like what started all this is that you caught on to their bullshit. They fear you because it's like you're the one person that knows they are fake. And I got this in the first group, but it's different in this group. Like, you know that they're holier than thou bullshit where they give, give, give to people is really toxic as fuck because they're not giving because they care. They're giving to get, okay, to manipulate, to control. There are people who do this. They give to manipulate and to control. Okay, be it a group, be it a person, be it at work, be it at church, be it wherever it is. Okay, fear the one who's always bringing, not fear, but be aware of the one who's always bringing the cookies on Friday or the donuts. Okay, be aware of the one who walks around in the office and is always like, talk to me, tell me what's going on with you. Yeah, okay, that's the busybody. That's the one who's always in your shit and they will tell everything to their boss if it will get them where they want to be. We have a love story, once upon a time, busy, busy. Now, I feel like at one time, you guys were probably close. You're probably friends, okay? That's why this love story is coming up. I don't necessarily think this is love, you know? It could be, but right now, I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling that. It may be that this is somebody who was a friend or a family member of somebody that you were together with, you may still be, um, but I'm really honing in on this, like, this very combative type energy. Um, and I feel like however this unfolds for you, there is an element here of someone trying to kind of like dehumanize you. Um, for some of you, they try to make you look like a gold digger, like you'll do anything for money and I mean anything this is very nasty okay and I think they fear you because a lot of you you just kind of like do your thing you keep your head down like you are focused on what you're driven to do some of you guys are very work focused right now um, you're very focused on what your inspirations are you're very focused on you know where where you're guided to go. I feel like you're very charismatic. Um, I think you have a, 
um, like a charm, a charisma. Uh, some of you guys are very like hot. You're very like sexy. This person doesn't like that. They don't like that about you. Uh, they think you need to, uh, you know, come down to earth and be like the rest of us and be average and ordinary. And ordinary is not your frequency. You are not meant to be ordinary, okay? You're meant to set the world on fire kind of energy. Now, you guys may have, this won't be for all of you, you guys may have a mama's boy or a mama's girl or a mama's child situation going on. I just take what resonates. We have copycat. We have arguments. Um, putting them in their place. Okay. Um, you know, I, I feel like this person does not like to be confronted at all. Zero. When they are confronted, they kind of like act very victimized. Like, how dare you? How dare you talk to me that way? I'm a fragile person. I'm a fragile little lamb. Yet they, behind that wall of that is this person who kind of rages at people. And I feel like it's done through gossip. I feel like it's done through them um, kind of like running their mouth. You know, I, I feel like this person runs their mouth about you. Um, and they fear you because the Queen of Wands ain't scared of shit. They're not scared to confront you um, they're not scared and I feel like this person is so afraid that you will uh, pop off they feel like you're unpredictable they don't like your unpredictable energy and you're hot and for some of you this other person's crazy about you and they don't like it they don't want them to be crazy about you because it takes the attention away from them this could be like a best friend of a person you're like with, or it could be a third party, like friend situation. You know, it's, it's unfolding into complicated relationships. So please take what resonates for you, okay? Use your own discernment. Tell me more. Okay, we have water again, and we have neighbors. I, I feel like you guys have a very strong intuition. This scares people, okay? This scares people. We have Rosemary's baby. Nosy, nosy bitches and Rosemary's baby. They get all involved in her womb, literally, right? Um, and I feel that here. You know, we may have an overbearing mother or matriarch or mother type figure or feminine energy. Um, and this bitch is judgmental. Like, uh, you know, plot twist or plot, not plot twist, plot reveal. Um, you know, in, in Rosemary's baby, the neighbors, the neighbor woman literally tells Rosemary where to go to the doctor, you know, because she's carrying Satan's baby because they did this ritual, right? And Rosemary has no idea what the fuck's going on. You are not Rosemary because you know what the fuck is up. You know how evil this person is and they fear that from you. They fear that. We have celebration, Carrie. They fear, they fear you going into your spooky, because we have a tinfoil hat here. And I feel like they know that you are connected. They know that you are psychic. They know that you know things. They know that you have their number. And I think they fear what you could do. I think they fear you standing up to them in any kind of way. And I feel like most of you kind of choose to just to kind of do your thing and not say a word because why would you kind of thing. But also, I feel this energy of, you know, it building. We have egg here. Again, this is this is an alien and we have a mother baby situation, you know, uh, laying eggs. So, you know, I feel like a lot of you guys are dealing with a, a matriarch or feminine energy Um that may be overbearing with her child or her family. Um, and and I, I feel like it's almost, it's so fucked up. It's so fucked up because I feel like there may be some really inappropriate feelings coming from this feminine energy um, about like 
covetousness about a person that you may be dealing with. Um, and I got to tell you, don't be afraid to like to to speak your truth. Okay, I feel like some of you guys maybe just to keep in the peace, Queen of Swords energy, Libra, uh, Gemini, Aquarius. You may just be kind of like an air sign who's just like, I'm not going to say that. I'm just, I'm going to try for everyone's benefit to kind of like just, even though this bitch thinks I'm some kind of prostitute online, I'm not going to say shit. Even though this bitch runs their mouth about me, I'm not going to say shit because if I say something, I'm going to hurt this bitch's feelings. That's what they're afraid of. Okay, music frequencies. I feel like you're on a different level. You are on a different level than this bitch. Okay, and uh, they're very judgy, bitter, ex-partner, bitter. This person's very bitter. Okay, they're a bitter bitch. They're a bitter, bored bitch. Okay, and the truth is, I think I feel a lot of plain Jane type type energy. Not literally Jane, but plain energy from this person like they don't shine they don't sparkle they drowned in the sea of their own toxicity and that toxic sea like I'm seeing the toxic sea and there is all kinds of of skeletons in that sea there's all kinds of really y'all this one bitch here they got a lot of interesting things in their closet sometimes we hate on things that we are. You know what I'm saying? Just take what resonates. Working on my bag, Taurus. Okay, you may be a Taurus or this, you know, they're hating on you for working on your money um, and not like being more traditional um, or doing what they want you to do. You know, maybe they want you in school and you're like, I can't afford school. A lot of people can't afford to go to school right now because they're trying to keep a roof over their head. You know, they're trying to live. Um, and a lot of people, a lot of older people may be judging the younger people for that. And listen, they didn't have to do the shit that's happening right now. Listen, I'm a Gen X. I'm going to tell you. Like, rent is higher than it's been, ever been, that I've seen in my lifetime. And I'm 53 years old. I'll be 53 in October. So, you know, don't let older people, hateful, judgmental bitches tell you, oh, it wasn't that. Yeah, listen, it was like that it was when I, we were young. No, when they're lying. They're lying. So if you're working on your bag, you know, do your thing. If you have somebody like this judging you, just know they fear you. They fear you intensely. They fear that you're going to, you're going to say something and, um, there's going to be some kind of con, you know, confrontation. They're not good in confrontations and they're going to act like the victim. Okay. So, Perhaps it's already happened, you know. I feel this Virgo card wants to come out. Virgo has secrets, yeah. Uh, you may be a Virgo. Uh, there may be earth sign energy, obviously, with, with Virgo and Taurus, Capricorn. This bitch has secrets. Some of you guys know them, don't you? Yeah, I heard that. You do. They're fearing these secrets come out of your mouth during a confrontation. They're not going to stop talking, though. Because I feel like I feel someone who really thinks they're so much better than everyone else. Like they have some kind of rank or something. And they feel like they, that you would never have the guts, but maybe you would. So it's, yes, you would. <laughs> Try me, bitch. That's what I'm hearing. Try me, bitch. Yes, I would. This bitch is bitter and they have secrets, okay? Some of their secrets are very interesting, especially those that have have said things about your personal business. It's interesting what you can find. It's interesting the stories people will tell you about the truth of someone, okay? Uh, this person um, has some very interesting history. Um, and it's different for different situations, but I'm telling you, really, really shouldn't throw stones at glass houses. You know what I'm saying? That kind of in energy here. Um, let's get some more tarot. Tell me more about this situation. Um, this kind of bitterness only grows. It only grows unless 
there is some kind of major thing that happens and maybe that confrontation maybe maybe that's what needs to happen here you know maybe they fear what actually needs to happen this card wants to come out we have the knight of cups here bringing some water to the queen of water huh we have the three of wands now this one's card is different because as you see here they're sitting there and their head is exploding it's not exactly the joyful four of wands it's this energy of like, oh shit. And, and I'm reading this intuitively at this point, just so you know, okay. I'm feeling like this cup, this cup that's being brought to the queen of, wand, queen of uh, water, it is, they're afraid that it, it's going to cause a major, like people to lose their shit. Like the reality of the truth of what could come out of your mouth could cause a fight at a family event or an event where you, if it's not family, at some kind of event where you guys could see each other and there would be embarrassment, uh, that there would be like, it would make a scene because you know, optics. Group one had this kind of vibe a little bit. We have the high priestess, but you're the high priestess, bitch. If it's meant to be, then it's meant to be. I'm looking at my, my mic here. If it, you know, I feel like you see the truth and you're the one to deliver this blow if necessary. And you can pull it out at any time. I just feel like this cup that you're bringing to this, <laughs> I feel like they fear that you are going to tell something. Something's going to spill at a family event. I think that's why I read that at a, as a four of wands. Um, that something is going to happen at a family event. They think about it here in the three of wands. And that it's a family event at work or a friend group. And it's going to overwhelm. It's going to be embarrassing. And they don't, they don't do well in those situations. And you're going to come out looking like the high priestess. Like there's a level of um, secret knowledge to the high priestess. Those secrets coming out, they fear the secrets coming out. Whatever you know, they don't want others to know. Some of you guys know something that other people do not know. You may think other people know it, but they do not. Okay? They fear that. It's just like in Psycho, the son, I forgot his name. The son, he doesn't want people to know that he's pretending to be his mother going around killing people like that's the big secret in psycho you know um so there's some deep dark secret here that they don't want revealed and they think it's going to come out in some kind of a confrontation like you're going to spill the beans and the high priestess they might when it suits them it's no longer about trying to like fit this person's idea of how things should be it's more about like what suits the high priestess what's good for the high priestess not not what's good for this queen of water we've had enough of her her um really poisonous dirty water it's time for the fire of truth to come in and purify all that water we need to boil the water and you can see the fire here the boiling of the water starts to happen and people see this bitch for who they truly are like seeing um the sun bates norman norman bates people you know at the end of psycho he's fucking crazy he's insane that's like hits everyone in the face like oh my god he's been the mom the whole time that kind of thing we have you know, this huge reality smacking people in the face. And I, I feel this energy of like, it's embarrassing. Like, it's going to be so embarrassing. Like, I can't have that. We have the three of cups here. So 33. I'm going to take these two other cups. We have the ace of cups and we have the king of cups. Now, for some of you, I feel like... Um, <laughs> the, I, I feel like... The group situation, whatever group around this, 
uh, is going to see truth. If like if you if you were to confront, if you were to confront this person, I feel like the truth would be plain as day. And for you, it would probably feel like, I don't want to say a wish fulfillment, but this cup would feel very good. Okay. It would feel very cleansing. It would feel like a lot of purity here. Um, but I also feel like with this this king of cups, I feel like there are people around this person who kind of already know, right? Um, and they probably understand on some level, like what you're going through, um, but they don't have the guts to say anything. Um, but it's almost like, yeah, we know about, you may have like an ally in this, that's close to the queen. Um, you may have someone that's like secretly rooting for you and may, you know, like give you a cup or someone who's on your side that may be in the queen's ear as well, who's actually causing them to worry about you more than they, necess than they would necessarily. Um, you may have someone who is kind of enjoying seeing um, the queen um, get rattled by you as well. They think it's funny. Um, so <laughs> that's interesting, you know. Um, and I really do feel like there are people within this situation that understand that this person's judgy. Um, that this person is shallow. Um, now, I do think the one thing they don't see is the fakeness in their piety um, or how they're not really as giving as what they are. I think they see them as very charitable and very giving and very devoted to their religion or their beliefs. They don't see the truth of this person being fake in that way. So, um, and I feel like you have some kind of receipts or some kind of truth on that. So let's get you guys some uh, letters, initials, and some charms. Hey, Group 2, this is going to be your letters, your initials, and your charms. Keep in mind, it's a general reading, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. These could be your initials, their initials, a meaningful word, a screen name, just take what resonates. We have XSSA, FOA, W, D, S, I, U, O, P, N, E, D, K. Um, there is a lot in these letters here. So we have foam. I'm feeling the word foam. Um, we have S, E, X, <laughs> sex, sexy. Uh, we have dope, um, open. Um, yeah, we have uh, dick. <laughs> so there's a lot of like fox, foxy ass. I'm getting a lot of like attraction, a lot of sexy words. Um, I think this bitch talks about your body. I think they talk about your vessel. I think they talk about how you look. Um, I think they judge you constantly. I think it drives some people crazy. I get fire department here. You may have like a partner who's in the fire department or in like the police or like they wear a uniform or something like that. That's not for everybody. If it's yours, it's yours. Um, okay, I, I, and I'm also getting like open 24 seven. So I'm, I'm getting a lot on the prostitute card. So I feel like they're trying to like cheapen your name in some kind of way. Um, and you know, I don't judge people like SW has a place has a very valid place in society. Okay. Um, so make your bag, do what you do. Okay. Um, this person has a lot of problems with themselves and they, they fear you no matter what you do for a living. I mean, they fear you. They, they fear having a confrontation with you and you you know, telling the psycho truth that they are unhinged. That's the truth, isn't it? They're unhinged. They're, they're, they are not well. They are off, unbalanced. They're, they're, 
there's something about them that's not right in the head. Um, I feel jealousy from this person. I feel like for some of you, they drive by your house, okay, to see what's going on. Um, I get this with the bicycle. I'm, I think uh, when I, I'm seeing the bicycle in um, The Wizard of Oz where the lady is on the bike, you know, and then there's the, the, the tornado that takes the house up into the tornado and she ends up in the land of Oz. And there's a woman on the bike that's really the witch and she turns into a witch, right? Exactly. She is a busybody, a nosy Nelly, um, who really can't stand her own life. She can't stand herself, okay? And she always wants what other people have. Because she's not happy with who she is. And I feel like you guys have some, probably some dirty details on her or, or them. It may not be a feminine energy, but you, you have some truth on them. Some of them have some very, very interesting habits that you know about. And they fear that. They, feel, they fear the secrets coming out. Some of them are, secret, are family secrets. They don't want out. You know, because they, they think... They have old, like old world standards about those kind of things. And, you know, um, the time for that has probably passed, right? Okay, group two, that's what I received for you. I hope this was a helpful and insightful reading. If it was, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. And if you'd like to see more readings like this one, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you beautiful, magical baddies on the other side. Bye, guys. Hey, group three, all of you that selected Halloween. This is going to be your reading all about who is afraid of you and why. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. All right. Now I'm going to be pulling letters, initials, and charms at the end of this reading. So we'll get into more details about this person. Now I'm going to tell you what I feel right now. I feel like this person fears you because you're coming for them. Um, you're coming for them because you got sick of their shit, right? If that doesn't resonate, then you probably need to pick one of the other two. Cause I feel like this is un, this is someone who is focused on like stopping like this person I feel like this person has come for you numerous times and I feel like you have practiced some really good restraint with this person and I feel like you just decided you know what I'm not going to do that anymore you don't deserve that um I have had enough of your bullshit so let's go let's get it right? For some of you guys, this person has cast it on you um, a few times, okay? Whoops. And uh, you may have been feeling it or seeing it in your life and you're like, you know what? How dare that motherfucker? How dare they cast on me? You know, like I'm not going to know, <laughs> bitch. You know what? Uh, a lot of us always know. We always know, okay? Um, and maybe that kind of situation. But I feel there's something like Michael is not, he's unrelentless, right? He just, he never, unrelentless, is that even a word? He's relentless, I guess is the word I'm trying to use. Wow, I got stuck on that, okay. All right, so let's get some energy here. Tell me about this, this relentless energy, vampire. I feel like they came for you and there, it was a draining energy, um, Draining your light, draining your family, maybe financially, trying to drain your business. And I, I feel like you really, my crown is starting to open up, and I feel like you really, um, I think you practice such restraint with this person. I think you really tried to be like, okay, you know, warning shot, you better cut this shit out. You know, you were just very kind to this person, and now you're feral. Um, and uh, the shit is about to pop off. Okay, shit is about to hit the fan. Shit is about to pop off. Tell me about it. We have unicorn and shadow. Shadow unicorn. <laughs> they don't even know. They, they have no idea. They have no idea of what they have done. 
Okay. Um, I feel like this is someone who has like kind of played with you and aggravated you and you've just been like, listen, you don't want to do this. And they did it. And you're like, listen, you didn't really affect me, but I'm just telling you, you don't want to continue this. Okay. I'm only going to... I'm only going to do this for so long until I'm going to, I'm going to come for you. And when I come for you, you're going to know it. You're going to know I came for you and it's going to hurt. And we have the moon and judgment. Ooh, we got Cthulhu. Ooh, bitch. Psychic as fuck. And you're not going to see me coming. You're not going to see me coming. And it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt because I'm going to make it hurt. I feel like some of you guys came, some of you guys had someone come for your family, um, for your, uh, your foundations, your wealth, your money, your job. And you're just like, you know, I just, we can't be playing this game no more. We can't, we can't be doing this. We have the emperor. You're just like, uh-uh, no, no. We have the king of swords here. Uh-uh, no, no. We're not doing that. This one wants to come out too. We have the king of wands here. We have two kings and the emperor. We have Cthulhu, the judgment card. So I feel like you, because you're very powerful, you know, you were like, you know, warning shot, don't do it. Warning shot, don't do it. Warning shot, don't fucking do it. Okay. Again, all right, that's it. That's it. Like, I've gone feral. The unicorn has turned into a shadow feral vampire unicorn, bitch. All the niceness. I gave you the benefit of the doubt. I did the thing. I'm getting some kind of weird, like, in my ears, I'm getting some kind of weird pressure. I, I feel like, and you were just like, you know what? Okay, we're going to untap. The jar, we're going to untap it. We're going to open it up is what I mean. Like we're going to open up the jar. We're going to let Cthulhu out. We're going to uh, release the beast. Don't say I didn't warn you, bitch. I told you not to come for me. I told you to stop your childish bullshit spells. I told you to stop with this bullshit. And you didn't stop. So now we're coming for you. And we have Lilith. Boom, bitch. Boom. Let me tell you something about Lilith if you don't know. She's very protective of her children, her daughters, her sons, her family. And she don't stop. She is fucking relentless. Yeah. And she doesn't take kindly to people who fuck with her daughters, her sons. She's got a special place in her heart for her daughters, though. I'll tell you that. We have Goddess Nyx. Secrets are being revealed. Uh, you may have used Nyx or called upon Nyx. They fucking fear you now. They fear you like they never have feared anybody. I'm hearing paranormal activity in my house, in my car. I've gotten scared in my car on that dark road. Late at night, we have tapping into forbidden knowledge. They have no idea who the fuck they fucked with. We have throwing chaos your way. You threw such chaos into their life. You threw such powerful, some of you guys, infernal energy that it literally has rocked them to the core. They've had dreams about you. They've had dreams of Lilith speaking to them about you. Uh, they've had dreams of Nyx. They've had dreams of, of your guardians, your infernal energies, your uh, goddesses, different You've had, they've had dreams of your familiars coming into their dreams um, and devouring their energy, like vampirizing their energy. There's a lot of draining of life force here. It's like, I told you not to come for me, bitch. Do you not know who the fuck I am? Th this is someone who has been very nice. You've been very kind to this person, and they did not stop. And so now... All bets are off, bitch. All bets are absolutely off. Let's pull from this deck. Tell me more. They fear you because now, now they know. Now they know that you are the real deal. You are not the paint by numbers, bitch. You are not the paint by numbers, witch. You are real. And when you tell somebody to stop, you mean fucking stop. I'm giving you because I know. 
when I come for you, it's, it's, it's going to hurt. I can't control how my ancestors and guardians protect me, bitch. We have not magic. Binding. Ooh. Ooh. Some of them, their magic is all fucked up. Whatever little magic these little little people had, these little witches had, these little magicians had, it's all bound up now. They're being blocked. Their magic don't work. Like, it's gone. We have pentagram, talisman. Some of them had their talismans, like, destroyed. They found them in pieces. Or they found them in the trash. I've seen someone get their talismans ran over. They dropped them. They lost them. Their talismans being drained. We have weather magic. Manipulation. That's what happened. The, the forces of chaos have come in and have started to completely rip their life apart. Some of them are experiencing the death of their relationships. Huh. Bitch, we don't care. Did you not listen? Some of you guys were just like, you took, you took some hits. You're like, okay. All right. Okay. I told you stop. I told you stop. Ooh, I dropped the deck. It's fine. I told you stop. Yet, here we are. Here we are. We're still doing this shit. I'm not doing it anymore. And they know it's you. They would know without a shadow of a doubt it's you. They absolutely know it's you. They don't wonder. Your God forms, guides, whatever you work with, let them know. Yes, yes. It's absolutely. They're dreaming of you. Some of you guys have them in some kind of weird purgatory situation. We have the king of castles here. Uh, you know, what I, oops, I'm sorry, I touched the mic. You know what I'm getting here? Some of them, their rod don't work. <laughs> Uh, their rods don't work. Their wands don't work anymore. <laughs> They're trying to have any babies. That, that's not going to happen. We have the high priestess. That mirror reflection ain't looking so good anymore. They fear what you could do. If you could do this, what else can you do? You're not someone that just summons something and asks for a favor. Like, you are someone who has a intense relationship. King of Wands here. It's intense relationship with the spirits that you work with. You know what the fuck you're doing. This isn't just like some Saturday afternoon activity where, we're, oh, we're going to cast a spell on them. Oh, okay. No. You mean what you say. And that's why when you do work like this, you don't do it often because you understand the power you have to change someone's life. And you just did. We have the two of crypts. Ooh, I'm reading this intuitively. Mmm, feels like the death of a relationship to me. We have the queen of crypts. Mmm. Why does it feel like someone is speaking the end of a relationship? It feels like... I feel like someone came for your family or your business, and it's like strength and the lovers. Ah, yeah, it, it feels like if someone came for your relationship, your family, I almost feel like this energy with the high priestess and the queen of crypts, I feel like the end, the death was spoken to relationships, to family relationships, to foundations here. And they think that they vampirized you, but they don't understand that when they did that, they actually strengthened your relationships. They actually strengthened the love in your relationships. They strengthened your business. They strengthened you. But you did feel this. Some of you guys had to transmute this. You had to do some spell work. I feel like when you started feeling it, you cast it. Boom, 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 boom. You're not going to get me, bitch. I've been out this a long fucking time. I know when someone's in my energy or attempting to be in my energy. No. When I, when shit like this happens, I start casting. And I'm telling you to stop. 
we have the Eight of Castles. Tell me more. You know, I'm feeling intuitively with this. I'm feeling like they want what you have. They want what you have. Why can't I have that too? See how he's, he's like behind the gates here. Why can't I have that? Because you've worked for it. You've earned this. You've done the work. This bitch hasn't. We have the king of candles and the nine of castles. You've done the damn work. You've done what you needed to do to get where you are. I feel like this person feels like if you just woke up one day and everything was there and it was just wonderful. No. There was hard work involved in what you've done. This is somebody who is almost lusting after the things you have. They fear you because they know you're real. Because your magic has touched them. And they know it's you. Some of, the, some, <laughs> some of you guys, you have like some kind of thought form. Some of you guys have used a poppet or something. And there's some kind of paranormal activity. Some of you guys have them in a jar. Um, and there's paranormal activity at their home and they know it's you. They do. They know it's you. Um, and they don't know how to get rid of it. They bit off more than they can chew. And as their fear grows, the presence grows. Like they're, they're so stupid. They don't realize what they're doing. They're feeding it. That's, that's how you set it up. They're feeding it with their fear. For some of you, like this person came after your business. They came after your, your rep reputation, which affects your home life. It affects your family when people come after your money. And no one fucks with your family. No one fa uh, fucks with your money. So, and, and I, I really, because I feel like it's important for people who listen to this know, like, this is not someone who just went after someone, like, because they can. This is someone who practiced restraint and took some hits and d d had to do some casting and, you know, was still like, come on, don't do this. Because if, if I come for you, it's going to wear you out. It's going to hurt. And I won't be sorry then. I won't be sorry no one's going to be sorry, and you're going to be left crying by the time this is over. And so here we are. They absolutely know it's you. And I feel like some of them are mad about it, but they're scared. They're like, I can't do anymore. Some of them are seeking out help and professionals. Like, how do we get rid of the spirit in the house? They don't tell the professionals the backstory. Or, I need to cast on this person because they're attacking me. They don't tell the professional caster, like, what they've done. Some of you are in a jar. <laughs> a really badly put together jar, but you're still in a jar. For some of you, the jar that you're in, though, has cracked. It's, it's cracked or it's fallen. Like, and they're freaked out about it. We have... Dragon load of dense shit. Time for an energy clearing. <laughs> you got some of them crying out to, to the Lord. Man, help me. Unicorn shit fight. Ground yourself now. It's a fight. You're like, it's on. So bring your best. It's on. I told you to not do it. And you did. So now we're at it. I told you to stop. And you didn't, bitch, so here we are. It reminds me of TikTok a little bit. Like, it reminds me of, like, that kind of shit. Like, I told you to stop. I told you to stop. Don't fuck with me. I told you I'm a fucking dragon, bitch. We have Grumpy Wizard. Release your anger safely. Lighten up. Why are you taking this so seriously? Because if you had been a more effective spellcaster... Which, this could actually have hurt somebody. If I had been a different kind of person, this might actually have hurt me. I told you to stop. So now, I have to make sure you stop. So, they're all bound up now. Their magic's all twisted. 
They couldn't shoot a straight spell if their life depended on it. They're having trouble clearing their energy. They're having trouble getting grounded. They're confused. There is confusion here and chaos. There's overwhelm and anxiety. There's fear and it's feeding itself because they don't know what they're really doing. And they seem to think lashing out and casting more on you is going to make this better. They don't realize that you have a very high advanced situation spell work thing going on where the more they cast on you, the worse it's going to get. The worse it's going to get for them and the better it's going to get for you. So they should keep casting now. Don't stop. Keep going, bitch. Keep going, bitch. Because you're only going to get better and they're going to get worse. Until someone says, have you ever thought? And a lot of reputable people won't help them right now. Because they feel something's off. They may not be able to put their finger on it, but they feel it. Because they feel you in their energy. They feel something very powerful in their energy. And this is a lesson. They are being served a witchy karmic lesson that they need to learn from. And that's why this is happening to them. And so they are scared of you. They are very afraid of you. They know it's you. And they're very confused about it. All right, let's get you guys some letters, initials, and some charms. Hey, group three, these are going to be your letters, your initials, and your charms. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. These could be your name, your, your initials, their initials, uh, a screen name, initials, just take what resonates. We have YCJF, DQIA, OBNA, MPIS, D, DZQA, CS. Okay, we have the uh, numbers one and five as well. And you've got quite a few charms compared to the other groups. We have a passport here. Is that a dinosaur? You got a dinosaur, you guys. That's cool. I don't know if the dinosaurs ever come out. You got a Pegasus. We have a paw print that came out in group two. We have another unicorn. We have the bike that came out in group two. We have an elf. We have a zombie. You have a lot of really good energy. And uh, what is this? This is a cat. You may be a Leo as well. That dinosaur is a very cool energy. It feels like you have a lot of like ancient knowledge. Um, you may work with a lot of ancient um, like beings um, or God forms or spirits. I think you have a lot of really, really old guides as well. Man, I don't know what they were doing trying to mess with you. We have zombie here. I feel like that's how they feel. They're feeling a little bit like a zombie right now. Like just kind of gutted um, in their life. Um, it feels like discord and confusion. You've definitely left a mark with this paw print. Okay, and they're trying, they're trying to get it together. Um, what they don't understand is like, you can't touch this magical unicorn that's gone feral. Like, they actually made a unicorn go feral. They did that. They, and I feel like they knew not to do this on some level, but they did it anyway because they were full of ego. They were full of this, like, they thought they were better or they thought they could do this. Um, and the truth is they're playing a game that they can't win. Um, with the passport here, I feel this energy of, like, they're not going to be able to get away from this. This is something they're going to have to deal with now. We have a butterfly here. Um, and I, I just feel the energy of the death card coming through this butterfly. Like, they're, they're stuck in death card energy. They're not able to fully like blossom and transform their transformation is stalled out until they're able to see the folly of their ways um, this person is someone who 
vampirizes off other people. They're an emotional vampire. They may also be a vampire of money, kind of bleeding people dry of everything they can take from them. And then when someone doesn't have any more to give, then they kind of cannibalize what's left. And it's very brutal emotionally. Um, and I just feel like they picked the wrong one. They picked the wrong one with you. Um, and I'm getting like done. You were done with them. D-O-N. Done. Also the name Dawn um, as well. Uh, and they don't understand that you have the keys to the kingdom, whatever that means to you. Uh, you have the keys to the knowledge, like the forbidden knowledge card came out. They don't know. They don't understand how deep your practice goes. They don't understand the relationships that you have with the spirits you work with, with your practice. They are not there, so they have no comprehension. Um, you don't just appreciate the rainbow. You have, the rainbow's here, you have learned how to become the rainbow. And they don't understand that kind of thinking. You are the butterfly and the rainbow. Like, you are the unicorn. You are the fucking magic. It's you. And they don't understand that concept. They, they don't understand it. They don't know how to make it happen. Um, and they're just stalled out. And they fear that you're going to keep coming for them. They fear that it's not going to stop. And the truth is, the way this is set up, they need to have some, some moments of reality for this to stop. They need to come to some terms with the realness of what is going on in order for this to stop. So the truth is, their fear is realized because it's not going to stop. And that's what I got for you guys, Group 3. I hope this resonated. If it did, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love to have you as a member of my tribe. And if you'd like to see more readings like this one, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you beautiful, magical baddies on the other side. Bye, guys.